ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. Hey, this is James Spann. This is the afternoon weather extreme video. This is for Friday, the 27th of March. And we are getting set for a very significant threat of flooding and severe weather across the state. A lot to talk about. Let's go right to it. Skycam shots. Just like yesterday, after morning rain and storms, the sky becoming partly sunny this afternoon. Readings up in the 70s. That's the Birmingham shot looking west from the Daniel Building. Gulf of Mexico churning up. Surf looking pretty rough down there. That's coming from the uh, Phoenix All Suites looking toward the east, out toward the uh, new pier that has been built, replacing the one that was destroyed by Ivan five years ago. And that's the sky cam at Bonita Lake Mall in Meridian, Mississippi, looking back toward downtown Meridian, and the sky there generally cloudy. Well, there's our story, a whopper of a trough that's sitting out there on the Texas to Mexico border. Big-time blizzard conditions going on in the cold air, the severe weather breaking out in the warm air. We'll start with that watch warning map, and uh, the, the counties in red out there in the Texas panhandle, Oklahoma, uh, Kansas, Colorado, those are blizzard warning counties. Now, uh, for some reason, they've taken out that northwestern row of counties, but they should be in there. And uh, winter storm watches and warnings all the way to Kansas City and St. Louis. And uh, around here, we've got uh, flood watches up, flash flood watches. And uh, just moments ago, one was reissued for this part of Alabama, which was a given. So, again, even though you don't see it highlighted there, it is in effect. And we've got the tornado watch in Texas. In fact, let's go ahead and look at that. Uh, there's the uh, new box over northeastern Texas from Lufkin up toward the Red River. That includes Texarkana, Arkansas, and parts of extreme southeast Oklahoma. And also to the south of that, there's another box. In fact, that storm uh, down to the south of Lufkin between Lufkin and Port Arthur looks like it's producing huge hail. And that's the beginning of what's going to blow in here tomorrow. And look at the instabilities out there. Goodness gracious. 4,000 joules over southwest Louisiana. You talk about a ripe air mass. And you got 80s over 60s, almost a summer air mass down there. And again, uh, we will inevitably see some rough weather down the line here. Uh, here's the uh, convective. First off, the QPF chart. Don't forget the flooding problem here. Uh, we could see an additional two to three inches of rain. Already we have seen two to three inches of rain, so flooding, a problem tomorrow, and ultimately river flooding as well. Heavy is showing up here down south with these uh, with that morning convective complex. They were really drenched on the Alabama Gulf Coast, and an additional 7.3 inches suggested there near Pensacola and Gulf Shores. It's been a wet week down there. Convective outlook, rest of this afternoon and tonight, moderate risk of severe weather from roughly Shreveport to Columbus and Meridian. You see that thing just butts right up the Alabama state line. A slight risk surrounding that from Dallas-Fort Worth down to Tallahassee. Uh, probabilities are highest in the moderate risk area, 45% chance of severe weather within uh, 25 miles of any given point, and that's awfully high. And uh, tomorrow, the guys have a slight risk over a huge chunk of the uh, eastern U.S. as far north as Indianapolis, but the, the big probabilities, that, again, 45%, that's going to be a moderate risk at least for through much of Alabama, almost all of the state, over into the Carolinas. And uh, it just looks like everything is there. It's always going to boil down to the mesoscale. Quite frankly, one big question, will there be another convective complex down there in the Gulf to shut things off like we had this morning? If not, it's going to be a really rough day. Uh, we'll take a look at the uh, modeling here. This is the GFS, the 12Z run at noon. Uh, or I'm sorry, this is at 6 a.m. tomorrow. And obviously, uh, you see something like that in late March. It's just screaming severe weather. And down at the surface, the surface low is near Little Rock with very active weather in progress over Mississippi and Alabama. I think the window is going to be 3 a.m. to 3 p.m. That's going to be the core window. We'll kind of open up that 12-hour window as the core. Maybe some action a little before, maybe a little after that, but that'll be the big 12-hour window. Here's a look at the uh, instability. This is coming off the wharf run down at Florida State. And the values are uh, over 1,500 joules, in fact, over 2,000 joules in spots. Really, along and south of a line from near Tuscaloosa down to about Roanoke, uh, it's kind of suggesting the northeastern part of the state stays stable. I really don't buy that. 
I think everybody will be at risk tomorrow from severe weather. And uh, those instability values, I do believe, could be achieved statewide. And uh, by the way, this is valid at uh, midday tomorrow. Helicity seems to be maxed out over East Alabama. But really, the, the numbers are very high all throughout the central part of the state. Uh, you can see those higher values there, places like Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston, and the numbers really max out down around Lake Martin. But uh, certainly, rotating updrafts are a distinct possibility. And again, the concern is that we could see some uh, long-lived damaging tornadoes tomorrow. Uh, it might be the greater risk will be over East Alabama as the uh, instability increases by tomorrow afternoon. By then, the storm should be over East Alabama. But again, the whole state is definitely at risk. So again, we'll focus on 3 a.m. to 3 p.m. tomorrow. All modes of severe weather possible and flooding. Sunday, we dry out. Storm's gone. We uh, will be cooler. In fact, Monday morning, some of the guidance says it's down in the mid to upper 30s. We'll have to look out for a bit of scattered light frost. But we'll warm up to near 70 on Monday. Tuesday, at next system passing well to the north of us, and a front gets in here with a chance of showers doesn't look like a big deal at this point. And then Wednesday, that front stalls out. Here comes a new trough. And Thursday of next week, there's your next severe weather look, a negative tilt trough. Surface low midday Thursday is near Tulsa, where the Gulf wide open. Thursday night at midnight, a bomb, if you will, in terms of deepening. That surface low is up there at uh, St. Louis with uh, probably some strong to severe storms. And then Friday, we get in the dry slot. So looks like toward the end of next week, we'll be doing this again, probably Thursday or Thursday night. Let's go out a little deeper into the month, out just out there at the end of the period, the 12th of uh, April. Another trough, another severe weather look. Again, it sure looks like this might be a severe weather season to remember if this keeps up. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. Brian Peters will have the video updates for you uh, tomorrow. And on Sunday, my next video schedule for Monday morning at 7. Of course, we'll be here with our uh, live coverage on the live stream. Uh, ABC3340.com and television if you're local to us. And we'll get through this whole thing together. The blog is the place to be. We'll be hanging out there, alabamawx.com. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless.